Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth, and welcome back to the channel that replaces Stupidity's IV with embalming fluid. And they're back. Yes, the flurfs follow me around like flies follow a manure truck. Whether I'm on my channel, Non Sequitur channel, Red's Rhetoric channel, or even the amazing The Creaky Blinders channel, who had his first taste of a flurf assault when I was on his live stream alongside Greater Sapien last week. Link up there. It's quite funny. And the brilliant thing is that they keep leaving stupid ass comments so that I can make these shows for you. First, I've got a brief correction from my Rockets in Space video. I said that the reason the rocket candy couldn't sustain a burn was due to the lack of oxygen inside the um, vacuum chamber, whereas it's much more to do with the amount of pressure. Cody's lab has other videos of him successfully lighting rocket candy in a vacuum, and you should check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Also, as many of you know, I'm in chronic pain every second of my life. Chronic pain is misunderstood and it's mishandled by both doctors and patients. Bob the Science Guy has made what is, in my opinion, the best video I've ever seen explaining chronic pain and how to manage it as best as possible. Please check it out by clicking on the link in the description and you should really subscribe to Bob the Science Guy. Anyway, today I'm a mentally ill Stockholm Syndrome sufferer that needs to swallow my globe sperm. Eww. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Find the Find the Right, straight to the stupid, first up, Funk Obama. Whoa, good luck with your delusions, unreal sci-fi Dan. Oh, LMFAO. <laughs> Lo loads of full, full stops for some reason, thanks. So I assume you're talking about Simon Dan. Yeah, he is funny and one of the main inspirations from my channel even existing. Oh, and he's a bloody brilliant bloke as well because he's running in the London Marathon for a great cause. I'll link to his video about that in the description as well. Why are you so butthurt about Flat Earth, bro? <laughs> LMFAO. It's so easy to see the more they fight it, the more they worry, because it's flat. And the truth is, it's unstoppable. So keep wasting time trying to use old fake science to prove the old fake globe. Good luck, nerd boy. Fake science. Just like the fake science that created the fake computer and the fake internet you're using to spout your fucking moronic thoughts to the world. That fake science. Crackhead. <sighs> Crackhead, do I look like Daniel Pratt to you? With a cap? C. Alright mate, was that really worth an entire comment? Oh, you fool. Oh, oh I see, you're a crackhead. Well, thanks for stopping by, random crazy person. Next. Lol, seven comments. Looks like FTFE got his ass handed. <clears throat> Math is not reality, no full stop. This comment was on my debate with Sleeping Warrior, which now has this many comments. So, next time you need some medication for an illness, you'd better not trust the doctor to calculate the correct dosage for you. Or, next time you want to draw money from the ATM, better not trust the bank, huh, because math isn't reality. You tell me one single thing that can't be quantified and explained with maths. No? Well, shut your stupid face then. So, what is the furthest anyone can possibly see before the oceans start to curve? Exact, no, no, no capital letter measurements, please. You also preach the globe as 100% fact, and yet you have never, ever been high enough to actually see planet Earth, or have you, genetic fallacy? Last question, okay. Please tell me how the force of gravity affects water so much that it makes it stay on the planet. It pulled towards Earth, or what? Small balloons can go high in the sky. Are they defying the force of gravity? Looking forward to your answers to cure me of my mental illnesses. There was a whole bunch of places there should have been capital letters there and you didn't put Ah, Gasmule, mate. Not seen you on my comments in one of my vids in a couple of weeks. Um, I think that amount of stupid in one comment deserves a trip to the remedial classroom. <laughs> Okay, everyone, quiet down. We've got a lot to get through today. Yes, Mr. Liley, what is it? 
Dare worried to be mean to you. Uh, I thought you two were friends. He said he doesn't want to be your friend anymore. Well, you know what? I'm sorry to hear that, but as long as it doesn't interfere with classwork, I really couldn't give two fucks. We've got a couple of things to cover today. The teachers over at FECU keep getting these questions from one of their students called Gaz Lee and asked if we could cover it here today as well to see if any of you understand. Because Gaz Lee doesn't. First question is how far away is the horizon? To figure this out, we use the simple formula d equals 3.57 times the square root of r, where d is the distance to the horizon in kilometers and r is the height of the observer in meters. So for an observer of 5 foot 7, which is 1.7 meters tall, the distance to the horizon is 4.7 kilometers away. For an observer with a height of 6 foot 2, or 1.9 meters, the horizon is 4.9 kilometers away. You can see, as the observer's height increases, so does the distance to the horizon. Exactly what we'd expect on a ball. Okay, second question is how does gravity hold all the oceans to the ball Earth, yet let a small balloon rise? To understand this, we have to look at Newton's law of gravitational attraction, which is F equals G M1 M2 over R squared. This formula shows how, if the masses are bigger, the gravitational attraction is bigger i.e. the oceans have a lot of mass for gravity to act on, whereas a small balloon has a small mass to act on. And we have to remember that the equation for buoyancy contains G for gravity. What now, Mr. Lily? So Nathan and Bob don't want to be your friend either? Yeah, well, I can't blame them, to be honest. Oh, thanks, science. That's home time. Please explain how a ship goes over the curve of the Earth, and with a telescope or binoculars, we now have the ability to bring it back into focus. Also, it's also with, with, with no capital letter, explain how the shadow of, there's a double space there, the moon is only 70 miles wide when it was measured in the last lunar eclipse. Well guys, here's Michael Haggerty, a professional truck driver who thinks it's okay to be paying more attention to his phone than anything else, whilst being in charge of several tons of steel powered by explosions. Hmm. So, Mad Mike, the reason we can bring things into focus with a telescope or a camera with zoom is because that's exactly what they are fucking designed to do. To see things our eyes couldn't resolve on their own, because our senses are rubbish and not to be trusted. But zoom in on a boat at the horizon, watch it disappear over the horizon well zoomed in, and it's not coming back, is it? And as for moon shadow only being 70 miles wide? Fucking idiot. Please, with no capital letter, explain how a rocket will work in zero tor. Full stop, no capital letter. This is the measure in which it's really measured by full stop, no capital letter, tor and zero tor. Full stop, no capital letter. Please explain your thoughts. Full stop, no capital letter. I'm waiting for your response. No full stop. Yeah, so tor is just a measure of pressure based on an absolute scale. So rockets work in zero tor in exactly the way I described in my rockets video. It'll be in the cards at the end of this video just for you, Mike. Watch it and you might learn something, you moron. Fight the truth or check out my new YouTube video for some. If you think Earth's a ball, then why do you need confirmation from these goofballs? No, you probably actually suspect it is flat, but don't want to believe it. Same here for about a three month period of massive research on my part. Now it's just flat and it feels like I'm trying to prove it's not. Just watch the moon appear to rotate 25 degrees clockwise every pass. Why? Because it is close and flat. That's why and no other explanation can explain it. The moon appears to rotate constantly as it approaches us and as it departs again from our view. That means the Earth must be flat also. Unlike the globe which can't hold water, I have the only fully functional gravity Earth model which I can explain and display gravity and buoyancy. My theory explains everything from tides to magnetic north to the entire Jurassic anomaly of how gigantic lizards even existed as well as the heightened volcanic activity of that same time period. Whoa, you've, you've got a fully functional model of gravity on flat Earth and you've discovered buoyancy? Can you let me know when you'll be getting your Nobel Prize? I'd, I'd like to see that. Well, that wasn't embarrassing for you much at all, Quaig. Oh, Scotty here is referring to my debate with Sleeping Warrior. And yeah, I agree, it wasn't embarrassing for me at all. Lily, however... It's, well, we wait, know wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to deny that acceleration requires a force? Absolutely, that's my point. Oh my goodness, there we have Absolutely. it. That is literally the most stupid thing I have ever heard. Nice pecs. How did we get those full shots at Earth or that one with the moon between the Earth? Also, why is every pock from NASA of Earth different? 
Oh, oh, and I got some else to see. Do you think showing math problems, that proves your point? Math can be used to prove any point. Just look at theatrical physics. We need physical evidence, and unfortunately, the flat earthers have more proof of the opposite. Well, Steve, first off, theatrical physics sounds amazing. Someone needs to make a musical called that now. And secondly, all these pox of earth are taken with different types of imaging sensors from varying distances by different methods. It's not rocket surgery, man. Do you truly believe those pics of Earth are real? Seriously, stop. Just stop. Oh. Okay, um, you heard him, guys. I guess that's it for today. Make sure you like this video and you're subscribed and you click that notification bell so you never miss anything from Fight the Flat Earth. Thanks for watching and an extra massive thanks to my patrons. To join, go to patreon.com FTFE. And remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the Flat Earth. Fight the Flat Fight the Flat Earth.